Hi, in this video, we're going to solve this recursion formula. We have x sub 1 equal to 1 and x sub n plus 1 equal to 1 minus x sub n. So to solve the recursion formula basically means that we need a formula for the terms of the sequence x sub n that is not a recursive formula, right? This term here depends on a previous term. We want to eliminate that dependency. So solution. So to do this, there's a couple ways to do it. I'm going to do it just by listing out the terms. Let's try it. So x sub 1 is equal to 1. Let's look at x sub 2. So to figure out x sub 2, we basically have to look here. This is going to take the place of our m plus 1. So if m plus 1 is equal to 2, that means n is equal to 1. So this is basically 1 minus x sub 1. But x sub 1 is 1, so it's just 1 minus 1, so it's 0. Let's look at x sub 3. So what is x sub 3? Well, it'll be 1 minus, and then just the previous one, right? Because again, when m plus 1 is equal to 3, that means n is 2, so it's 1 minus the previous. So it'll just be 1 minus 0, which in this case is equal to 1. x sub 4. Again, it's 1 minus the previous, so 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. And I'm sure you can guess, x sub 5, well, it's 1 minus the previous, so it's going to be 1. So it looks like we have a very clear pattern, and that pattern is the following. The terms of the sequence are 1, 0, 1, 0, and it just repeats. The next term would be 1 in this sequence. So we have to figure out how can we write a formula for this pattern of ones and zeros. There's a couple different ways to do it. One way to do it is to think about um, negative 1 to the n. So negative 1 to the n gives rise to the following sequence. Negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1. And that's because whenever n is odd, you're going to get negative 1. So when you plug in 1, you get negative 1. When you plug in 3, you get negative 1, etc. Whenever n is even, you're going to get 1. So when you plug in 2, you get 1. When you plug in 4, you get 1, etc. So let's try to manipulate this to get this. Let's make these zeros. We can simply do that by subtracting 1. That's going to give rise to the sequence. Let's see, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 2, 0, etc. And then let's make these negative 2s uh, into 1s. Let's turn them into 1s. We can do that by dividing by negative 2. So this will be negative 1 to the n minus 1 over negative 2. This will turn it into the sequence 1, 0, 1, 0. And that's because 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So this is the formula. We can clean it up pretty easily by taking this negative 1 and putting it upstairs and distributing it. And when you do that, what's going to happen is we'll basically get this, negative 1 times, parentheses, negative 1 to the n, minus 1, and all of this is over 2. When you distribute that negative 1 through, you end up with the following, x sub n is equal to 1 minus negative 1 to the n, over 2. And this formula is valid for n greater than or equal to 1. And there's other formulas you can use, and there's other ways to solve this problem. This is just one way to do it. I hope this video has been helpful if you're trying to learn to solve recurrences. Good luck.